M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Whistler TRX1 Scanner. So let's prepare a blank SD card to put into our scanner. Normally they come with a SD card, uh, but let's just say for whatever reason you need to do this and you're putting in a new SD card. Maybe you want a larger one with a bigger memory like 32 GB. So what we'll do is we'll run the Whistler software. I'll put a link in the description for that. We'll connect a, a SD card into our computer and then we'll right click and we'll format it. So if we go to our computer, PC, and there's one, it, you can see that I've already used it on the TRX one. Right click and then format. Like so, and you could use, you know, a formatting program. So that's formatted, okay. And it's still connected to the computer. Now we're just gonna go scanner SD card at the top here go down to prepare scanner memory SD card. So it's the fourth one down. So across one, then down to prepare scanner memory SD card. Now we're doing this with the SD card in the PC, not the radio. When you do that, this appears. Now you could select copy current configuration on this, on this you know, Whistler program and copy library files. But I'm not gonna do that, I want it to be nice and quick. And then you've got a tick here and I'm gonna click format. Then we get this message and then we're going to click yes. Now you then get this command window come up here in the background. Insert the new disk, it's already there. And then we're going to press enter. And that should just prepare everything and then it flashes at you. And then when you put your SD card in the radio, it will look like this. So we're at the radio and to, you do need to take the rubber case off, which can be very, very tight, but you sort of push it from the bottom, really. But anyway, so battery case, put your thumbs there, pull that down, and there's your, your batteries there. And remember to flick your switch. If you're using these kind of batteries, there's a switch under here, and mine is set. Let's have a look. Zoom in a bit, get some light on that. There you go, N1MH batteries. I've got that switched to the left. That's your rechargeable batteries. But anyway, put them back in. So the SD card goes here, and there is a diagram to show you which way around it goes. And it goes. Let's get it right. The gold part is facing you. So just put it in like so, and then carefully push that in. So it clicks into place and put the cover on as well, I recommend. Okay, so we're booting it up. It should be a blank card, you know, blank SD card, but if there's a problem, it will come up with an error and we haven't even tested that yet. So let's just boot it, hold down the power. And yeah, normally that's a good sign. Initiate SD files, and it's now going to show all the usual files, but they should all be blank. No, we've got the error. Now, when I've had this error in the past, I just rerun it, and then I rerun the firmware. The firmware, if you go straight to the fault, I'll show you the, the firmware file. Let's just see if I rerun this to see if it boots a minute, and then I'll show you the firmware file. Yeah, it looks like it's working now. Yeah, everything's gonna load, which I will show you. There it is, and if you go down, so that's the sort of, if you press menu, you're at the, at the beginning, go down, look for something that's in there. So if we go to scan, let's have a look now, scan, actually at the top, yeah, scan list. And these, they're all empty, because we, we've literally got a blank SD card in there. You could, of course, use the software to load everything up. We're just showing you SD card. Quickly show you that firmware. So go to this link that I've put in the description for the downloads from Whistler number one. And number two will be very similar. Click CPU up data, which is this top one, and you'll get this file here, which is called CPU up data, and then run it. Click yes, and you'll get this window here. Click yes, like so, yes. Then acknowledge, 
continue. Connect your Whistler 1 to the PC and you do need to put it into firmware mode which I will show you. So if your Whistler is turned on, turn it off. Okay, unplug the USB cable from the PC, hold down the M button and then plug it back in. And look, it will now say CPU SW upgrade. So you're in you're now in firmware mode. Right at the PC, tick the acknowledgement box, right click, device manager, cable connected to the scanner, COM16 as showing there. Minimize, continue. Test the COM, so drop down here on the right, 16, and click test and hopefully if it sees your device it will then allow you to click update if it doesn't just put it into firmware mode again we're going to unplug it and put it back in click ok and click test let's close it down rerun the program Yes, acknowledge, continue, com, 16, test. That looks good. Click OK, and then you click update, and you will have the firmware on your device. Bye for now, 7.3.